biggest shell I've ever found. Wow. I'm absolutely counting that as my biggest shell ever. Wow. That big the most. That thing is enormous. Wow. Hey everyone, it is a beautiful day down under and it's been a couple of days since the mega storm. So there should be a lot of awesome shells to find in today's episode. Let's see what we can find. Check out how flat it is already. We're gonna find some good stuff. Guys, I was just about to leave. I was literally just leaving. And look at what I see. Oh my goodness, I am praying so hard that that is a whole shell. Look at this. Please let it be whole. Oh, it's so stuck. Oh, I think it's a little bit broken. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Holy cow, that is huge. What? Yes, that is the biggest magnificent bullet I've ever found. That thing is gigantic. It's quite broken, but hey, that counts it for me. Absolutely. That is the biggest shell I've ever found. Wow. I'm absolutely counting that as my biggest shell ever. Wow. Would you look at that? What do you guys think? Does that count or what? I reckon it does count. That is massive, you guys. Mega magnificent volute. It's got those points there. Oh man, imagine if it was that big where it was finishing off there. That is incredible. Oh, I am stoked out of my mind. It is broken a little bit, but hey, that's the biggest shot I've ever found. Ew. Oh my goodness, is it alive? Holy moly, I think it's dead. You gotta be kidding me. Is it, it's not moving whatsoever. It, this is a Sputnik. This is a sea urchin Sputnik, what I call a sea boob. Oh my goodness. No, it's definitely gone. You have to be kidding me, the finds of today, you guys. Incredible. You gotta be joking. That is a Sputnik urchin. I've never found one before. I've only ever found pieces. Look at that, that is definitely dead. <laughs> it's very, very whole. You gotta be kidding me. What? That is one of my best finds ever. Wow. Pretty cool down under here. Now I found like two or three Arabians in this little vicinity here over the last couple of weeks. So this might be good. See it? I reckon there's an octopus around here feeding on all the Arabians. Let's check it out. Yes, nice. That's fantastic. Definitely an octopus around here. Supplying the goods for me. Look at that. Beautiful Arabian cowry. Those um, measles are so bright on this one. They look fantastic. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Um, Octopus, wherever you are. I'd love to meet you, say hello. But uh, that's awesome. Arabian carry. I've been so lucky with these lately. All right, let's check out Checkered Bonnet Bay a little bit more. Check the front out. Oh my goodness, another one. You gotta be kidding me. Hopefully this is whole anyway. All right, let's take a look. Yes, holy cow. That thing is huge. My gosh, that's massive. Epic, that is huge. Let me get the other one out, you guys. That thing is just gigantic. Find it in my pocket. Look at the size of it. Oh my goodness, that's an average size Arabian. That is a mega size Arabian, you guys. That is definitely going in my little top Arabian shelf. I have about 10 to 15 like gem Arabians and some freak Arabians that I've found over my lifetime in a little section in my uh, shell cabinet. So that's definitely going inside there. That's fantastic. Two octopus holes again. Octopus around here are feeding hard. That was incredible. Are we gonna find a third? That was just incredible. Chuck those in my pocket because I see a cherry. Hoping it's whole. Is it? Where did it go? Oh, it's broken. Dang, that would have been fantastic condition. 
That's a shame. Still very cool to look at, that colour. Ah, well. Can't believe that. How cool was that? Two giant Arabians, one after another. That surprised me. Awesome. All right, let's see what else we can find. You guys, I haven't found a decent sized, magnificent Volo in the longest time. And this used to be called the Volo Spot. So I used to find them here all the time. There's another Arabian teeth down there. Won't grab it. Don't need it. Wow. That was two incredible finds. But yeah, it's been the longest time since I found a magnificent bullet. I guess it's not the season for them. I guess it's the season for Arabians. I did walk through here. I walked through this little area when I found the first Arabian. But I missed something pretty cool. Hopefully it's still a hole anyway. Look at what I missed. A captain cone, an ice cream cone. Come on, yes. That's a beauty. Wow. That is fantastic. Can't believe I missed that. Wow, would you look at that car. It's definitely empty. You can see those rocks inside. Man, we're hitting the jackpot today. I knew after that storm it would be fantastic. Man, I haven't found a decent captain cone in a while. Nice catch. That was sweet. Can't believe I missed it. Lucky I didn't stand on it and like bury it in the sand more or break it. Lucky me, huh? Awesome. I love the purple inside. Definitely going on the top finds uh, cabinet. Awesome. One of the best conditioned captain cones I've ever found. Awesome. Nice, I'm stoked about today. Let's go. This. I've only ever found one of these Murex shells. Murex shells here are super rare. And check it out. Come on. Wow. It's definitely empty. <laughs> You're kidding me. Look at those flares. I found one of these previously. Uh, it was maybe that big. Didn't have any flares. And it had a huge hole right in the middle there. So that is awesome. It's got a little moon snail piece stuck in there. How cool is that? That is such a rare specimen here. It is pretty worn down compared to like a gem condition one, but hey, these are indeed hard to find here. Yes, I'm so excited about that. Man, these are hard to find. And it's got a couple of flares. How good is that? Ew. Find of the day, absolutely. Look at that massive yacht. Holy cow. But that is awesome. I will actually, I should have thrown a photo up on screen. Finally have a vibrant uh, checkered bonnet down here. If you can see it, it's right where that water's colliding. There it is. Let's check it out. Arr, it's stuck as. Oh, not too bad. Just gotta be quick, there we go. Oh yes. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. It's very thin, so I would have only just started growing that extra layer. Heck yeah, that is beautiful. Look at that tip. My goodness. That might be one of my favorite finds of the day. It is super thin. You can actually see straight through to the checkers. Nice. Subscribe to the channel for that one, you guys. That is awesome. Definitely one of my favorite finds of the day. Let's take a nice little photo like that. Ew! Awesome. Two little bonnet shells here, but this one looks awesome. Must have just been like thrown in since it's sort of floating. Yeah, nice. That is awesome. This isn't quite like the Florida bonnets we usually find here. It's very rare to find these sort of bonnets around the coast here mainly because they are super thin. As you can see, you can basically see right through it. So they never really last past these rocks. Whereas these checkered bonnets here that we usually find, they're a lot thicker, a lot more durable. So yeah, that's actually nice. And we don't usually find them with the checkers on these ones. So that's cool. Very nice find. We've done so well today. It's just crazy. Check out how massive the swell is today, guys, and look what it's brought in. Check it out. Look at that. That's huge. Wow. 
Whoa, massive sea bush. Holy moly, that thing is enormous. I found a good handful of these, uh, nowhere near that size, maybe like that big the most, but that thing is enormous. Wow. I've, um, I do keep these. They, all this like color and algae sort of washes off after like a week of drying, but uh, these are dead, so they're a type of coral. Uh, search up sea bush on Google. You should find a lot of these sort of things and they are all attached to the rocks and coral. Um, so once it's, it's, once it's detached, it's dead. So I'm able to keep it. I'm pretty positive. How cool is that? That thing is mega. I can't believe the size of that. But um, yeah, check out the size of the swell today. 0.4 meters right now. But check out the size of the swell. So it's about a meter high tide. Uh, that was pretty sweet. Very cool find. Awesome. You guys know quickly that I also do sell seashells on my Instagram page, at Shellcade. I've got a mega Nautilus up for sale right now and a $200 mystery box. So if you want to grab some awesome seashells, then uh, check out Shellcade on Instagram. Check out my stories or my highlighted uh, stories called sales. Check it out. Let's continue with the shelling. This big rock here, keeping it on its side so I can put it back down, and I spotted a prickly droop. Nice. That's a big prickle right there. That's awesome. I love when they're like, they got the little horns there on the top. They're really nice. Sweet, it's been a while since I found one of those. Always remember guys, if you lift a rock up, just put it back down gently, because there's definitely living animals under it. Anything under this one? Nope, I think so. All right, let's keep going. That was a nice one. Big old bonnet shell stuck in here. No idea if it's broken or anything. Come on, wiggle it out, looks all right. Yeah, nice. It does have a hole on the back end and then a hole oh, on the inside. It's a shame. Look at that. Got a nice little crown cone maybe. Yeah, wow. Very nice. That is super nice actually. Might be one of the best I've ever found. I don't usually look at them or pick them up much anymore because there's just so many here, but that's definitely one of the best I've seen in a long time. So that's cool. Let's give them a wash out. Then we might head over to the front side of the beach. This water is chilly today, let me tell you. My goodness, especially with long socks. Oh, a Hebrew. I think I see a Hebrew. Hopefully, Urgh. lift you up. And I do, wow, it's live. Wasn't expecting that. Very cool. Usually when they're white like that, they are empty. All good, sure we'll find another one today. Have a good one, buddy. That's very cool. All right, I think we might head to the other side. What do you guys reckon? Let's do it. It's like we got a massive hairy triton, but it looks pretty broken. Let's check it out. Oh man, that is big. It's definitely a keeper though. Not gonna leave that. It's kind of unique actually with those holes. It's like windows inside of it. I think it's cool. Definitely gonna keep that. Nice. Drop a like for that fine guys. Comment down below what you think the best shell find of the day will be. I think we're gonna find a nice textile, empty textile, hopefully. It's been a while, so maybe today's the day. Anything around here? A couple of cowrie shells, snakehead sort of things. That's way too old to keep. I'll leave that for someone else or something else. Maybe a little crabby or might like it at uh, Checkered Bonnet Bay right now and check out the size of this auger. Definitely alive, got a nice little crabby inside of there, but that thing is huge. Definitely the biggest one I've ever seen. We don't usually find many of these here, like at all. So it's pretty cool to see. This fella has a very nice home. I would trade a lot for that little home. That's a nice one. Almost at Checkered Bonnet Bay, as you can see. Looking flat, should be fantastic. What do we have around here? So this little side here is an erosa and maybe a cherry or a really old erosa and 
a hopefully new Erosa. Where's it gone? There it is. Giant. Holy moly. That thing is huge. Usually when they're bigger, they're like very faded, but this one is okay. Two Erosas right there. One without its color and one with. Nice. Anything? Oh, another moon snail. Nice. Don't really get too many different colored moon snails here. Very, very occasionally you'll get one with like an orange stripe, but not much else. Or actually some Gordy Nauticas, very, very occasionally. I think I see another Rosa down here. I sure do. Yeah, nice. Three Erosas in that little pocket, one that I missed and had to come back for. So I guess we do kind of have a good amount of moon snails here, when you think about it. A of little cowrie shells down here. The first one that drew my attention was the Erosa, of course, but then I actually saw this little blue cowrie. Let's check it out. Oh, and I actually see two live Arabians in there. Can you see them? right next to each other. That's pretty cool. I won't disturb them, but uh, that's a nice little blue carry. And then we have oh, a really nice Erosa. Been very lucky on the Erosas today. That's like my fourth or fifth one, I think. Sweet as. I like them. Half an hour later, I've come back to the uh, Volute spot, or the Checkered Bonnet Bay. And I see one, but two awesome shells. Yes, wow. We got a super nice cherry carry. Definitely the best one of the day. That is crazy vibrant. Beautiful purple teeth, got the little lines underneath. And we got a little Hebrew. Nice, second Hebrew of the day. That's a nice little couple of finds right there. Very exciting. We have absolutely scored today, I just can't believe it. Well, I can believe it. I, I sort of um, knew it was going to be really good today because of the storms over the last couple of days. So, it's paid off. Absolutely. And we're not even halfway done. We still have the whole other side to check out. Phew. This looks like a super nice checkered bonnet. It's pretty stuck in there. I don't want to break it. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Why oh, you got to do me like that? Look at that color. Oh. I think I'm gonna keep it though, just because of its beautiful color. And again, it's kind of like a window inside of the shell. It's unique. Very cool. Shame. I haven't found a, uh, like a gem, super uh, vibrant checkered bonnet shell in quite a while. Oh well, let's keep searching. This is where I found the octopus a couple of episodes ago. It was sitting like all around there. That's pretty cool. Love to see another one today. What's that? Broken Triton. Anything in here? Not much. This really nice bonnet shell from in here. Haven't seen too much else. That looks good. This one's pretty nice. One of the nicest ones of the day. I haven't been too lucky with them today, honestly. They've either been really like broken or old. Let's check it out under here. Lots of piles, grip piles and such. Not too much though. All right, let's keep searching. On it, whoa, nearly just tripped. Look at this. Got another one stuck under here. So satisfying pulling them out of these little crevices. Nice, especially when they look as good as that. Bunch of rocks inside, nice. Anything down there? I wanna show you guys this. This is a snail shell. These are absolutely everywhere. I, like, there's so many, especially live ones, all over this place. I've never even taken one. So I might take one today. This probably isn't it. It's got nice color on the inside, but the tip is pretty worn, so I think I can do better than that one if I'm gonna keep a gem one. So, let's see what we can find. 
guys, today may have been my best shelling day ever. Check out this incredible haul. Best find of the day is definitely between these two here. But I'm going to have to say the big Sputnik sea urchin. That is just incredible. I have no idea how I'm going to clean this up. Obviously, if I just throw it into my cabinet, it's going to stink like crazy. Because it is still an animal inside of that uh, urchin shell. Then we had the giant magnificent bullet, which is just incredible. Just so incredible to find all these shells. I knew it was going to be such an epic day after the storms. Then we had the two giant Arabian cowries. This one is huge. Had that Murex shell, just an incredible find on its own. Another Arabian, an awesome Captain Cone. Incredible condition. Super, super nice. A really nice bonnet shell, a bunch of Hebrew cones. I just cannot believe those two massive finds. That is definitely my biggest magnificent volute ever. It is pretty bashed up, but hey, it's a whole shell. Can't believe this sea urchin right here. Guys, please comment down below if you have any ideas on like the easiest way to clean this up. What I'm thinking of doing is just cutting a circle out of there and then sort of scooping all of the stuff out, trying to keep all these spines intact, but uh, that is such an incredible find. I can't believe I found that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We also had this checkered bonnet here. Very, very crazy day. Such an, in oh, I just can't even speak. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Let's go. Cool. That was incredible. <laughs>